Hi everyone, Till here, and welcome to this small tutorial on how to copy my quick bars and interface layout in Star Wars The Old Republic. I noticed in the comments section and in my messages on Discord that some of you are interested in copying my interface from the Star Wars The Old Republic. I will make the document available in the description below. I'll need to upload it to some cloud. I never did it on YouTube, so I need to find a cloud which I'll be allowed to put a file in so I can just download it and insert it into your game without actually editing the quick bars. So it will be available for all of you in the description below sometime around the time when I'm gonna post the video. So without further ado, let's start setting it up. Alright, so let's load something which I had previously did not that uh, Warzone tank. Yeah, it's pretty much what I used to have, it's just this quick bar, quick bar 3 was on the side over here vertically. Actually, just for the purpose of the tutorial, let's make it vertical. Uh, Sauce row 1, there you go. Just for the purpose of the tutorial, we're gonna move it here. So, uh, you know all the options that uh, this thing has to offer. Okay, so first, let's increase this bar to maximum, because we're gonna need it. And this thing is my priority rotation, as far as I remember. This one is my opener, let's move it over here. Main quick bar. Now, main quick bar, uh, normally, by default, has numbers from 1 to 9, then there is 0 and equal sign. Obviously, I have it switched. The reason is, if you watch my older videos, you will notice that my second qu quick bar, the quick bar number 2, starts with Q, E, R, etc. What I did is basically sort of emulated the second quick bar by being the second row on the main quick bar. What I need to do is reduce the slots per row until it matches the rest of the quick bar. And now we have two rows. So let's m move it over here for now. To make space already, let's move the minimap to over here. We're gonna be adjusting the sizes in a moment. Then the quick bar number two, same thing as with the main quick bar. Now it matches, so if you see, it continues. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And instead of equal sign, which I actually kept, I made the minus or dash, whatever you want to call it. So now this thing is kind of in our way for now, so let's just move it. Let's move the minimap to the middle so none of our OCD will hit. There you go, now we're gonna be fine. Here in experience bars, you can see the two bars. I have legacy level 50, which is maximum level of legacy you can get in this game, so I'm just gonna disable it. There you go. I will reduce the side of the experience bar. It doesn't need to be big, unless you got some of you are, are interested in like judging how many bars. Eh, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna reduce the size of it and keep it at the bottom. After you reach level 75, all it gives you is the renown XP. Uh, sort of thing. So that's not important for me anymore. It it goes pretty fast anyway. There you go. Now, large tooltip. Normally you have it attached to the minimap. You cannot move it. So what I'm gonna do is detach it and move it around this location. That means I will be able to move the achievement tra tracer over here. Now be careful, guys. With this window, is not a problem. You can always grab it. So. If you do that, you're not gonna have access to your achievements, which you just have a shortcut over here. Now next, let's make more space by moving the alignment toggle somewhere else. As you've seen at the beginning of the video, and in my many previous videos, I have it over here. The problem is, the alignment toggle, oh, you, you can only grab it by the sign, you can't grab it anywhere else. I didn't know that, and I move it over here. And pretty much on my interface that we've seen until now, I can't move it. So, I came up with the other idea. I'm gonna move the face indicator a little bit lower. Move the alignment toggle over here, so I always have access to it. Just gonna reduce the scale, like you've seen at the beginning of the video. I don't need it big, I don't want it big. Oh, actually, let's move the face indicator here. Slightly a little bit smaller. That should be enough space, like this. I don't think it's that thick. 
you know what I mean. If it is, I can always edit it on the go, if you know what I mean. You can do the same thing. Alright, so this is moved. Let's move the mission tracker over here. This is game download. That's really important. You'll see it only when you're reinstalling the game. And remember, when you're playing while the game is downloading, you can only be on Nalhata, Karaban. Well, okay, start locations, basically. I usually just allow the game to download download itself faster. Combat state, I'll move over here. You will see later why. Let's move the targets over here. My main avatar with the health over here. Where's my main queen bar? Come on. <laughs> it's re it refuses to cooperate with me right now. <laughs> Hang on. Now it's better. Okay. Let's move it over here. I'm actually gonna make it smaller to like... Uh, 80 is enough for me. For some of you, bigger might be better. Also, remember, this scales depends on how, how big and with what resolution screen you have. I'm using around, I think it's 24, 25 inches uh, screen, full HD. So for me, that works. For you, those numbers might be a little bit different. It also depends if you're using a laptop or a PC. Because usually laptop equivalent had same resolution, but actually smaller screen, if you know what I mean. Alright, this definitely does not give it to me that big. Uh, it's smaller than main quick bars, so I'll just... Yeah, just to make it like a pyramid sort of thing. Just make this, I have this like, feeling that it's getting smaller. It's more of an aesthetic than anything else, uh, but I just like to make my life so like that. Like, more complicated sometimes, I guess. <laughs> okay, the distance from the clock should be that let's make it nice and clean okay this is the secondary one now where is my there you go there you are let's make you smaller but let's fix the rows there you have it okay so the scale of this one is 07 oh this is already 07 very good okay oh, come on now is it match it matches Ver perfect now let's move my opener over here, and I'll make it smaller, like much smaller. I think O55 is good enough? Maybe O50. Yeah, let's make it O50. Why not? Now I can move the target frame to here, and it, as you see, it nicely goes around just like here. I'm gonna make exactly the same thing with my quick bar number 4, which is my priority rotation with some extras. Like switching the tacticals. By the way, guys, you can switch tacticals by just clicking them on the quick bar. Okay, I had 50, right? Yeah, 50. Right there. Player frame move over here. I can make it smaller, technically, but it overlaps nicely. It's big. I can adjust the... You can adjust the size, basically, up to your own sort of uh, thing. Debuff I'll keep over here, because sometimes you have so many buffs, your debuff might be sort of overlapping. Companion Casper, I don't need it. I mean, I do need it, just not that big. Cast bar definitely smaller. Player Casper is in proper position, temporary ability bar, I'll make it much smaller. Because the biggest thing you can have here is when you have your heroic open. That's eight abilities for for one for each class. There you go. Target cast bar. Let's keep it here. Focus targets. I don't need it that big. I use the focus target in some of the operations. This is honestly this is preference or depending of your raid, raid leader, but usually you need it for raids. For example, if you have to switch targets, but, you, but you're but you on duty of observing the boss, then you basically, you know, keep the focus target so you can see whatever is your main target, you can call out what it's doing. Oh yeah, focus target cast bar need to be close, because that's the purpose of it. At least in my case. Let's make this one smaller, actually. I don't need it that big. Alignment toggle is properly... Okay, we're gonna have this to test this one if it works. 
this not that big. I have a good eyesight for that. At least for now. I will not have. If I spend more time on a computer, I will definitely have a worse eyesight. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this thing. Uh, you you need to be smaller. And combat state, I'm gonna move. Yeah, I'm gonna move it over here. The reason is, I notice with some of the flares, like I have the flares of those moons and suns moving around, so this is actually fine. But many of the flares actually cover too much of your avatar and you don't see if you're in combat or not. This screen is kinda reddish, but it's not that easy to notice. I usually look at my avatar and uh, with some of them you, you, you just don't see that, so I prefer to move combat state since I look in that direction anyway. I move my combat state thing over here instead of the default one, which is actually here. If I remember properly, I might be wrong. System messages, ah, I'll leave it here. What is that? Social notifications? That doesn't really matter. I'll move it here. What is that? Holocom? You can stay here. Buff tray. Yep, that's pretty much everything. And there we have it. Let's just save it. Tutorial. Save. Very good. Okay. And then just close it now. And there we have it. That's the copy of what I have in my recent videos, just as, as you requested. Now remember what I said at the beginning, I will leave the file in the description below uh, after I upload it to the cloud. It might be delayed after I release the video, depends if I can manage. But don't worry, it's gonna be there. If you guys have any more questions or requests what to do in Star Wars The Old Republic, like interface-wise, guide-wise, Feel free to comment below or write it on my Discord. Some of you have uh, the Discord already. I'll make something like a group thing. All right, that's it for what I have for you today. Leave a like if you find it useful. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.